Hi everybody, I am Hamza Tadili and now I will give you a short presentation about the chloroplast genomes. Firstly, we will start by the origin of chloroplast. The origin of chloroplast date back to more than a billion years. More the scientists, they say or they suggest that Plastids arose from endosymbiotic photosynthetic bacteria. They note that plastids divide by binary fission independently of the surrounding cell. And also, those uh, chloroplasts showed a remarkable resemblance with free living cyanobacteria. In this schematic presentation of primary and secondary endosymbiotic events, giving rise to different green and red algal lineage, we see all the different steps. Firstly, a single endosymbiotic events give rise to three primary endosymbiotic groups, green alga, red alga, and glucophytes. Then, the green alga ultimately giving rise to the present day land plants. The common point is the presence of chloroplast. So, you will see some numbers for example, two, four, or three, those numbers mean the number of membrane surrounding the plastid in those lineage. The chloroplast, which is considered to have a, originated from free living uh, cyanobacteria through endosymbiosis, play a key role in those plants or algae. So they have an essential role in photosynthesis and in many biosynthetic activities. And now we will pass to the difference between chlorophyll and chloroplast because there is a lot of confusion between chlorophyll and chloroplast. So the chlorophyll is the pigment involved in the photosynthesis. We found this complement in the telaquid membrane of chloroplast. And concerning the chloroplast is the organ involved in photosynthesis, mostly found in leaves of plants. Both, they give a green color to the plants. To understand well, we will see this simple organization. We have the leaf of plants. If we do a microscopic side, we will see the cells. For the chloroplast, with electron microscopy of transmission, we will see the chloroplast. And this is a schematic organization of chloroplast. And you see the organization of chloroplast. And now, what we see, the presence of DNA inside those kind of structure that we are interested. They represent the genome of chloroplast. So this genome of chloroplast is also called plastome. So the chloroplast are semi-autonomous organelles possessing their own genetic material. Unique DNA species are found in plast and this was verified more than 40 years ago by Seger and Ishida. As you will see in this picture, so they provide, uh, you will see in the picture, Ishida and Seger, they provide a strong evidence for the presence of a unique DNA in chloroplast from Chlamydomonas, for example. They developed also a method which allowed for the isolation of relatively intact chloroplast from the alga. And now we see in many scientific articles that there is a lot of copies in DNA inside those chloroplast. So in general, each chloroplast normally contains about 150 copies of its circular DNA, although this number may vary with the stage of development and the type of plastid. But the question is why this high number of copies? Why? So in brief, this is high number probably reflect 
the great need for expression of active proteins for photosynthesis that need to be continuously synthesized. Now, we will see the chloroplast genome structure. So, most chloroplast genome of angiosperm exhibit a highly conserved organization with a typical quadripartite structure. So, four part. In this structure, we will see four parts that include two copies of inverted repeat that we see in red and one separate, and they are separated by large single copy and small single copy region. In general, the chloroplast genomes of angiosperm encode 110 until 130 gene with the size ranged from uh, 1020 to 1120 uh, one, uh, until 160 kilobytes. Now you will see other presentation, circular presentation, and you will see the encoded gen, for example, for you will see the green implicated in photosystem one, uh, the red implicated in ribosomal RNA, and uh, as you see, the yellow implicated in NDH desidrogenase, and a lot. And as we see, the presentation also of the separate the, the large and small single copy region and the, the inverted repeat region uh, as we said so the chloroplast or the chloroplast dna or cp dna cp that mean chloroplast and uh, they are of uh, higher plants they have uh, they are double stranded molecule of relatively small size and now we will see a table and uh, that we see uh, some uh, photosynthetic organism photosynthetic organism some plant and we see that uh, the size of the genome of this chloroplast DNA it's range from 115 to 165 kilobytes and also we see that plastic genome are generally highly AT rich the average uh, being around uh, 63 so add, as we see uh, 61 for Acorus clamus for example for Coffea arabica we see uh, the percentage of ATCG uh, 62 and for the total uh, uh, for the size per base of the DNA uh, we see for example it's about uh, 115 so in general it's been between 115 and 165 and now uh, we will see some properties of chloroplast DNA. Firstly, it's non-Mendelian inheritance, and it have self-replication. Three, it's uh, somatic segregation in plant. Fourth, inherited independently of nuclear gen. And five, conservative rate of nucleotide substitution enabled to resolve plant phylogenetic relationship at deep level of evolution. So when we talk about self replication we talk about RNA polymerase so for RNA polymerase of chloroplast we will find two kinds or two types of RNA polymerase first RNA polymerase typical of prokaryote also called PEP plastic encoded polymerase and the second type it's NEP or nuclear encoded polymerase and is very similar to bacteriophage T3 T7 RNA polymerase now we will see the whole chloroplast genome sequencing, so the technique used for uh, sequencing. Uh, they, in the past, they was using uh, by cloning cpDNA into plasmid vectors, and after that they do sequencing. Uh, also, we use the technique of isolation of pure cpDNA followed by random uh, sharing, shotgun cloning, and sequencing. 
Now we see the amplification of the outer genome using the Roland circuit amplification, RCA, followed by sharing of the RCA product and shotgun cloning and sequencing of the fragment. And now by the newest technology, for example, Illuminasec, so nothing, it's difficult, so we do the sequencing in a few minutes. And now why we do sequencing of this uh, genome, why chloroplast genome? Because the chloroplast genome is well studied for evolutionary and phylogenetic study. CPA DNA is relatively abundant, complement of plant total DNA. They have an exist extensive background of molecular information on the chloroplast genome. Chloroplast genome is a conservative rate of nucleotide substitution and a complexity and repetitive properties used in systematic botany. So this is all the information for this short videos. I hope uh, that was a small resume summary and thank you for your attention.